Hi guys, so in this video, um, I just want to show you how uh, to trade crash and boom in a small account. So this is a $13 account. Um, okay, here we go. You see, I've got my stopwatch there. So when the candle opens, immediately the candle opens, then I see that it's going up. That's when I'm going to buy. That's when I'm going to buy. And then I wait. But the other rule again with buying on this uh boom and crash, you need to actually buy every minute. So you build your small account with like the power of one dollar or less than one dollar, you know. So but basically my targets in this one it's uh you uh, getting um around fifty uh, fifty cent per candlestick so okay let's see it's 49 second 55 second you close your trade you close your trade there then you come again and wait for the other candle to open to avoid the sparks so usually the sparks happen immediately or um at 45 so you buy again so it was going up so but uh, the other thing again that you need to also take note of is uh, the trend. You must check the trend. You see, I did check the trend on M15. We are going up, but on one hour chart, we are still going up on a uh, four hour chart. I mean, uh, four hour chart, we are going up. So let's go back to our one minute and see. Um, you see i'm still making a little i'll increase my lot size as it goes 40 actually from 50 you can just uh go out because you see like this um let me show you this week's this long week here on top here so it happened around it first moved up then around 40 or 45 then that's when okay another candle open so that week there happens um around uh, 45 you know it depends around 50 or 55 you know so and also if you look at it that's why it's a bit longer like this you see let's check on this candle check uh the time there 29 okay 30 second 40 okay now it's 40 so uh 41 45 so it depends around 45 yeah around 45 or 50 second day you see so that's what i'm talking about so you must always uh make sure that uh around those times you are out you know so that you, those bikes they don't catch you so uh, another candle opened go in wait again so to avoid those bugs must do that first thing you enter your trade after the candle has opened and shows your direction to you um you close your trade after the can uh, around 50 short from 45 to 50 55 seconds you can just close your 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 candlestick you can just close your trade and wait for another candle to open so you are building your account with small more more candles you understand so the other important thing again must check your indicators you know so if your indicators are up like your stocko your stochastic if it's um up on the over so on the overboard you need to go out we don't okay I'm, i was late on this one because i was talking let's see Mm. Okay, the candle is open. It's gonna hold. So sometimes, you know, spikes they do catch you. So you can be catched by this a spark like the small one, which is good. But if you if you are on the right direction of the market, you can keep on holding the trade. Sometimes don't use the maximum lot size that it's allowed on your balance, so that when it when it spikes down, um, like the previous spike here, as you can see, it spiked down. But if you still add some margin, you can add another trade that will pull up, you know. But sometimes it doesn't work because you find that that's when the market was changing its direction, you see. 
so you need to also um try to avoid that you see so i'm not following my stoical for one reason um now but you, you need to always follow them okay look i'm late again God. okay let's see mm. okay the candle has opened we continue so of course it need a higher concentration that's why sometimes i'm missing the second because you need to check your stoical every time you need to check your candlesticks you need to check your timer so that you you are perfect about this but i promise you this is working sometimes you can take two candles but two candles are not reliable at all you can take them only if it's the beginning if after a spike you can just take two candles you know only two not three only two candles because sometimes when it's about to continue spiking down to spike one candle down then you take it after two small candlesticks it will spike again so okay see i'm late again but not that much okay mm, let's see mm, okay seems like my time is behind five seconds it's forward with five seconds oh yeah it's also good too okay so sometimes it does happen Mm, that it's spiked down so if it's spiked down okay this is what i advise for your risk management you build your account if you can manage to get like up to let's say ten dollars or actually ten dollars you deposited you started with ten dollars when you get to ten dollars withdraw all the money or withdraw that ten dollars put it aside then you continue doing it you know then after continue doing it until you get to like um let's say until you get to something like um just looking okay i'm closing until you get to something okay after ten dollars you move it okay um let's see let me take another then after ten dollars you move it out and put it on your cr account after putting it on your cr account you come back again with the ten dollar you continue doing it so that if it smashes you you know and it's continuing to that direction you know that your ten dollars is already saved you see so i remember this other thing i did it just that i was not recording but i made like um around hundred dollars but i started with like twenty dollars you know and i was doing this i was checking like uh cs uh, 0 0.60 my load size you see so i was making like around 70 70 cent per candlestick then um within an hour actually because i also check my time within an hour i was having like uh 50 something dollars you know then i took a small break just to refresh my mind because this thing it need a higher concentration so it's sometimes you can end up like losing your concentration and you, you lose your money okay see question so now i can raise my load size but i won't raise it for now just because i'm still showing you guys so um i made like around 50 dollars when i come back again then i was using one load size you know i made like 120 um then i would draw then i came back again i was uh started with 40 dollars then with that forty dollars, I was using. I think it was around uh zero point seventy. I think or eight. Uh, around eight. Lot size. Then I made like thirty dollars, but I lost it so bad because the trend was changing now. So usually, you must check also your time. If you are in South Africa or if you are in um Africa, you are using uh, our time frame. You need to check around twelve between twelve a.m uh 12 uh, pm and 4 pm the the direction of this market it start to change that's why it, like if it go if it starts spiking down and spike down it goes you know so the the right time to trade it's the morning it's, it's in the morning you know you can trade in the morning uh from five o'clock because i did it at five o'clock or from three o'clock until around 11 then you stop doing it you see so you can just have those hours counted but if each and every hour you can make like one dollar or you make like 50 cent i'm telling you by the end of uh four hours 
you've got a salary for someone you know you've made a salary for someone for the whole day because you can make like let's say uh, twenty dollars or twenty five dollars uh actually let's say twenty dollars that's like two hundred and something or is it two hundred two hundred or three hundred then okay see concentration yeah so if you manage to make that amount imagine just imagine you have made someone's salary because most people they earn like 150 uh, depending what they are working 150 day or 200 so if he's that person is making 300 making a lot of money in some companies you know so you can you can just work for yourself by just doing this you know so but one thing that i need to always remind you guys it's not the um, forex it's not a get quick rich scam you know this is what mess up many people you know if you make your 20 dollar you can just stay out of the market the whole day if you make 30 dollars or 40 dollars according to your balance just move out of the market the whole day you know yesterday i lost like um okay i had okay i did make like uh, um on this other okay i'll just talk about one small account because i have got like three synthetic account now mm, okay look concentration so i lost like uh uh, nine dollars over the night because i took some trade on crash and it, like i was up you see it went up like very high if you check it there on four hours chart it went up very high nicely so i just took them at the wrong time and i lost my nine dollars but in, if i had made it i would have made something so what i'm saying is you know those small things that you are losing is what is building your wealth you know you can't get rich in one day so just do one thing if you have got the twenty dollars, you are out there. by month end or by the end of the week. Twenty dollars times seven seven days, you have got a lot, lot, lot of money. You see. Mm. Because in now, I'm sure I entered that candle. Okay, you know something is not fine anymore. Let me see it now. I love uh, Crash 500 for one reason it pays it pays a lot compared to the other um, when you compare it to the other other ones you know they pay very little but Crash 500 it pays a lot that's why I'm being consistent trading it when it comes to boom and crash but also 500 just that doesn't pay a lot you see because if this one pays like uh 50 cent that one pays like 25 dollars in one minute you see um okay boom 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 let's see So remember not to be greedy. You know, greedy is one of the most dangerous thing in this game. Yeah, it's the most dangerous thing in 